Whoa, look out! Whoa! Hi, right, guys. Well, it's turning into a fairly nice fall day out there, and uh, I notice my battery warning light is flashing, so uh, I'm going to keep plowing ahead here on Tuesday, October 18, 2022, with my experimental format where I'm going to be doing more shorter videos. So this is number three snippet of the collapse. Uh, good Lord, there's so many, uh, so much doom and gloom. We're going to check in with Dr. Doom. I uh, haven't heard much from Dr. Doom. He was all over the news a few years ago. So what is going on with Dr. Doom, otherwise known as economist Nouriel Roubini? Quote, in some sense, World War III has already started. Yes. President Vladimir Putin's refusal to rule out using tactical nuclear weapons in Russia's war against Ukraine put much of the world on edge last month. But economist Nouriel Roubini says a nuclear escalation of that nearly eight-month conflict could mark just the start of a global battle. The world could also see nuclear conflict in Iran and most worrying for the U.S. around China's fight for Taiwan, says Rubini, who is dubbed Dr. Doom after the realization of his dire predictions, including the 2008 housing crisis that sparked the Great Recession. The New York University business professor contends a Cold War already exists between the U.S. and China and that it could escalate into a hot war as President Xi Jinping aims to unite China and Taiwan. Uh, okay, so uh, Dr. Doom is touring his new book titled Mega Threats, 10 Dangerous Threats That Imperil Our Future and How to Survive Them. In this interview uh, with Yahoo Finance, quote, In some sense, war World War III has already started. It started in Ukraine because this conflict has broader implications that go well beyond Russia and Ukraine. It is the beginning of something else. Close quote. Um, Rubini highlighted geopolitical threats and what he calls a new Cold War that has emerged between the U.S. and China, as well as between the West and revisionist powers, including Russia, China, Iran, North Korea, and Pakistan. Quote, they are essentially challenging the economic, social, and geopolitical order that the U.S. and Europe and the West created after World War II. Uh, and this goes on, and then he goes into Iran, he goes into Taiwan, and brushes up against the South China Sea. I don't think Dr. Doom is ready to predict that World War III will officially kick off in the South China Sea. I'm still sticking with it in my own doom and gloom predictions. But uh, I'm going to put the link on here, like I'm doing all of these little snippets of the collapse, and you can take it from here. Uh, but we're going to come back and talk about eating meat. My camera survives. Bye, guys.